everybody. Hey, Welcome man. Welcome to Hey Man. What's I am, up? I am uh, Josh Wolf. I am Jacob Wolf. We are together. Um, we're in yep. Jacob's apartment. I am in town. Um, and so you, there's no echo on either one of our. This is going to be either consistently good or consistently bad. But one won't be good and one won't be bad. Yeah. I promise you that. Now, I do want to say something right at the top. <laughs> we have spoken a bunch about how we both know that we smoke weed each smoke weed and that but we don't smoke together right so this afternoon i on my way over here i was walking over the hotel we're staying in is down the street and i was walking over here and uh i was just smoking some weed so i walk in hot to jacob's apartment and as i walk in this dude's getting hot. So guilty. Even though the technology might be better today, the humans will be even better. <laughs> Is that even a question? Come on, this is gonna be so much fun. What are we fucking talking about? There's gonna be a lot of takes of us drinking water though, which I think is gonna be really funny. Yeah, there is. Can we get a count on that actually? It would be awesome if we well, just got I'm gonna be done by the, before I'm done being thirsty. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I do have some liquid death. I love liquid death. I had I had somebody come up to me that watches this, mm -hmm. and they went up to me and they're like, "Yo, I just bought some liquid death," and I was like, "Yeah!" They, they said it like us. Liquid it was pretty death. Funny. Now, by the way, do you remember something that I? Well, I want to tell you one thing. Jacob is expert skill level at. If I mentioned to him something that he does that just I have a lot of kind of weird thing little things that ugh, oh oh right? yeah like things that drive you crazy and I and he and I are close enough where I I don't feel bad like like you would tell anybody you're close with yeah hey man you know could you not do this as much yeah could you not I know it's weird but this is just where I'm at right that'd be great and so, one of the things, they're, yeah, they're <laughs> chewing, chewing noises in general. I hate people chew with their mouth open with gum. Just go. Chewing noises in general, yeah. But one of the things that there's another one that he used to. What's the other one? It's, just, it's like it's, it's like when you eat pasta or when you eat soup, you slurp it. Yeah, that's part of the chew. That yeah, that's the whole that that gra oh. that one. Every time I eat like pasta near here, my I look at him and I do it on purpose on my first bite. I'm telling you, he's expert <laughs> level. If you tell him, he's going to do it. Oh yeah, on purpose. Guess who I learned that from? Oh me. Yeah, you. You're expert at the drinking, sometimes making your gulping noises louder than they need to be. Hey, in drink. all honesty, I don't actually do that on purpose. Sometimes I'm just a loud drinker. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if I got to be honest with you, sometimes I'm just super thirsty. Uh, but my, all my, like, we, all my weird, like, there we go. I don't know even know what those are called. Pet pee yeah. kind of things. Those, all my stuff really has to do with eating and eating noises and... What's the other one? That was just that, the water and the chewing. Oh, oh, the, the, the gulping. The gulping and the... Yeah, but you know what's crazy it. is that what he'll do is like he'll... Sometimes he'll get it right in my ear too. Sometimes it's not even on purpose and it just happens and it's just a good day. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes uh, it's just a good day, you know? So it happens. I want to say one more thing that I told you I wasn't going to talk about, but I am. Okay. Just to get it out there for me. Um, there, look, man, you know, and we've talked about this for the last month or so. Yeah. I'm definitely thinner than I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, everybody mentions it to me who sees me. So I get it. So since everybody who sees me is mentioning it to me, let me just say. I'm, I'm, I'm here because the gyms weren't open over COVID. I have a body type where if I don't lift weights consistency, consistently and a lot, I just lose. This is yeah. how much I would normally weigh if I had never gone to the gym and started lifting weights. So like right now I'm at an age where I know what it would take, you know, eating. And yeah, the routine. 
to put that way back on. Uh, I don't do it. I might, <laughs> I might again at some point in time, but I'm content with just working out and just being whatever my natural playing weight is. Yeah. And it, dude, it's for sure thinner than you've ever seen me. Oh yeah. And but, I mean, I got a question for you. You feel good? Well, that's the other thing. Like if I didn't feel good, I would be concerned. Right. But it, I, I feel good. I'm in good shape. You like, know what I mean? No, that's what matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, but that, but so like, I get it, everybody. I get it. I'm definitely a little thinner. I'm, I'm in, now to be fair. Get over it. Huh? No, get over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, look, there, there have been a few times in my life where I looked a little, uh, you know, Dallas Buyers Club. I looked a little McConaughey. Yeah, okay. Not like McConaughey. Man, if you could have one person's face besides your beautiful face, by the way. I, I don't know if I would replace your face. <laughs> your face is pretty great. But if you could have one other person's face. Uh, I don't know. It would probably be someone the likes of like, Brian Gosling or... Oh, the Goss? The Goose? Really? Now, here's what I would say about the Goss. Now, and by the way, you know I'm a huge Goss fan. Yep. And to and to even say one bad thing about the Goss in front of you feels like it could be a deal breaker. It, the Goss is up there. Okay. That's all it is. But take away, because his, his build. intangibles. His build. But not, I'm talking about face, man. Just face. Right. No, no, yeah. Okay, because I look, you the, maybe like maybe like young Brad Pitt. Yeah. I think that's I think like Brad over Pitt the and Troy. over the span of the the whole chunk of everything. I think I don't think Brad Pitt had a bad No. Nope. I I'd go I'm I listen, I'd be lying to you if I haven't pictured me and Brad Pitt walking down the beach hand in hand just to <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Come out. <laughs> if you could what? hold hands with one dude on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it would be me. It would be Brad Pitt for me. You know what? Brad Pitt across the board. And let me tell you why. I think he's funny. You ever met Brad Pitt? No. Do you know I didn't I... know he's funny in real life. How do you know That's he's what just... I said. I think he's funny. Oh, oh, think as in like, I thought you just meant like, oh, like. Yeah, him and Clooney, both him and Clooney feel like they'd just be fun to hang out with. Yeah, okay. Yo, Clooney feels like, Clooney feels like, like he, first of all, I, here's how I imagine a date with me and George Clooney. This is my dad's fantasy with George Clooney. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not yeah, a fantasy. Yeah, it, it definitely is. I'm just is. thinking about it right now, but I think we open up with like some morning basketball. I bet you, dude. I bet you, dude, I bet you, dude, you used to run down at the Y. I don't know for a fact, but I bet you he used to play at this Y down here in Hollywood. The you know, Y in Hollywood? Yo, Denzel used to play down at that Y. What Y? Um, the one that Joey Diaz used to live next you, to. Uh, is it how would I know that? You don't know about the Y down here? It's not. One of those Alley Fitness outside my window? Yeah, that's right. It's And I think it might be that way. But, but... But, There's no why that way either. Yeah, I think it's on Wilcox or Cherokee or in that general vicinity. Okay. The Hollywood Y used to get some crazy hoop games. I mean, probably. Not probably, 100. But I'm saying Clooney you starts... Say 100? Yeah. I'm saying Clooney starts with like a morning tennis. Uh, maybe so we're, pick, not, we're not basketball? Maybe pickleball or, or basketball. But I, I bet you it's basketball. How old is he? 60? Gotta be. At least, right? Gotta be. You think he's warming up in the morning? Over 60? Over Clooney the still? Fuck yeah. Cl Clooney, <laughs> dude. Can you Google that? Huh? I want to know. See so, I, Clooney has his routine Clooney, on, I, on the internet. I, I've heard stories, I think, that Clooney is a hooper. I could be wrong, but I take, heard that he likes to Take those old man ankles. I bet you Clooney has some sneaky, dirty. Hey, he throws elbows for sure. You think so? Oh I yeah. I think past a certain age, you have to. You're, if you're a dude, you're one of two guys. You either stand outside the three point line. Yep. 
on both sides, offense and defense. Yep. And take set shots for threes. Yep. Or you're underneath with goggles, a headband, two knee braces. And 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 you're the dirtiest player of all time. And we're fighting. Because if I catch an elbow when you swing around, we're gonna I'm gonna get up and swing an elbow. Like there's no like here's the thing, man. Like that if you're on the court and you're doing shit like that, as long as you're over eighteen, these hands are rated E for everybody. I mean so. We're just having a good time talking about old dudes playing at the Y. And why are you talking about knuckle sandwiches? What? Because I'm just I'm just giving a shout out to the dirty players out there. Yeah, but we're you just know. doing pre We're just making shit but up. So, but so do you think Clooney's that kind of guy? Or do you think Clooney's like mastered the bank? No, well, here's another thing. I think Clooney's, can, I still, Clooney still moves a little better than those old dudes. I... I mean, probably better than the old guys. Do you think he's playing with the old guys? No. I think he's out here mixing it up. And that's why I say morning hoops, then maybe a massage. Not like under the same blanket massage, but like. You didn't have to clarify that. Okay. Well, I'm, now you know, this has really turned into a fantasy. No, then it's like a massage. And and we're like this, so we're face-to-face, -face, so if we want to talk to each other, we can. But we're a little farther apart, you know what I mean? Weird. Because I bet you he's got great stories. George Clooney's got some great stories. And then probably a little, you know, like a lunch. Okay. Yeah, maybe a snack. What's she eating for lunch? I don't know, man. I bet you at his villa, he's got somebody making some shit up over there in Italy. He lives in Italy. I'm assuming this all happens in Italy on his property. This should have been stated at the beginning. Oh, where did you think we were? Studio City? Yeah, somewhere in L.A. No, man, we're in Italy. We're on his property. What is this, Ocean's Eleven? This is just... There's not Eleven. This is just Two. This is Ocean's Two. Me and you. That's what it's called. <laughs> but it's not me. Ocean's Two, me and you. And then so we do all that lunch on his property. And then, um, and then I think his property's on the water. So after lunch, on the water, we go out for a little boat ride, maybe do a little fishing. I mean, I think he's on Lake Cuomo. I don't know if you can fish out there, but we definitely can do a boat ride, smoke a little weed. You think he smokes weed? Yeah. Yes. This is you don't the think craziest Clooney? fantasy. It's not a fantasy. It is a I'm fantasy. Just, no, you have it. every aspect of it. I've never out. thought of it. You before. had to clarify that saying, the massage wasn't sexual for just for people. Nah, nah. Because if it wasn't a fantasy, have you be never it. been on the internet before, dude? You got to be super specific. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Right you know, now? somebody was going to call you out for it if it wasn't me, though. Yeah. The fact that you had to clarify. Well, it doesn't matter. More people would have been like under the same blanket. You hold each other's dicks. You know what I mean? People are still going to face your old bitch without a dick. But I notice we, there's no dick holding. Okay. So I finally again, by the way, for the second time. Listen, and you keep saying fantasy. I was just, it came to me. I'm just giving you what I think it oh, might. Did it? Did it come to just you? Just right now. <laughs> so we're on the boat. If I oh, we're on a boat now. After lunch, what else you got to do? I'm just, I'm, I'm just checking in. You're jumping from spot to spot. I don't know. There's not only, We're still on the property. We there's, only the so, there's only we so many around. hours a day. We smoke a little weed. We play a little cards on the boat. What card game? Um, I bet you he, we could probably set up a table and bring a dealer and just play a little blackjack. You think he doesn't have high stakes Texas Hold'em under his boat? Whatever. 100 grand entrance. Whatever. I That's mean, I so it's true, but it's Oceans 2, me and you. So there's nobody else besides... We don't want just like a quick cameo from like Matt Damon and and, and, and Brad Pitt and... Look, let me tell you something. Cameos are always welcome. Fucking, I don't know. I Don Cheadle? Well. There you go. Yeah. That one. Um, okay. Quick, quick, quick but 100 grand in Texas. Bing, home. bing, bing. You win it We're all. on the boat. We're smoking weed. Maybe, we, maybe I get on an inner tube in the back. One of those situations. And we play a little 21. Play a little 21. Okay? Wait a second. We come back. Yo, you know what? I've been in the sun a lot. A lot of exercise, smoking weed. I'm going to take a little nap before dinner. So you decide to take a nap? Or he decides to take a nap? Me. I take a nap. Got it. In my room. 
Because you have your alarm. Yeah. I wake up, uh, my alarm goes off, and there's a knock on the door, and the I am brought in just a little coffee. Just a little quick pick me up before dinner. I get ready for dinner. We go downstairs. Lobster. Bing bang boop. Take a couple mushrooms. Just go out on the boat. Firework display. We go. This this is a fantasy. No, come on, man. This All right, is the Team best. Josh or Team Jacob also on this one. Like this is this sounds like. Yeah, but a fantasy implies something that I've thought of for a long time. It sounds like you've thought a lot about it. I was. It, this is the first time I've thought of it. But what I'm Cap. saying is, huh? Cap. You said this what? is the first time you thought about this, and I said cap, which means you're lying. Oh, no. Why would I think about a date with George Clooney? I'm a, I'm a pit dude all the way, but I had never thought about what a date with Clooney would be, but Clooney seems like such a cool dude, and he probably has all of those. He has weed. He has mushrooms. He could get his own firework. He has a boat. He has weed. He has uh, uh, cards to play poker, and he's got chips. I thought we were playing 21. Uh, 21. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got all these things. He's got a basketball court on his property. Okay, that's that's believable. That's believable. All of, actually, all of this is pretty believable. Not I mean, except for the fact that it's you and George Clooney. Okay. All right. All right. So your day would be with her. Is this what we're doing? We're just... No, I'm just curious. You don't have to go into yours. I'm just curious who your day would be. If I had to pick a day... I'm not holding hands with a guy. No, man. Listen, dude. If I just had to... Yeah, I had to pick a day to spend with anybody? Because you think it would be the most fun day. And I think Clooney or Pitt, for me, would be the most fun day. Well, I bet you McConaughey would be a fun day, too. McConaughey would probably be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to go somebody probably in... I don't know. Probably my era? I would hope so. I mean, like, I honestly probably go, like... Like, for me, I, I don't... I don't know if it would be the craziest fun, but it would be, like, for me, the most fun. Maybe not for everybody, but, like, I think a day with, like, J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar would be fucking... Just to sit around and talk to them. Yeah. Insights, stories, knowledge. Yeah. They both definitely smoke weed, sit in a studio session. Like, what do that, you... to, that, that for a day sounds like it would be fucking awesome. What? Dude, it sounds amazing. What would you be more interested in? Would you be more interested in sitting in on a studio set, like a right studio session? Or would you rather be like just a hang at the house? You could do, I mean, you could do both on a day. A hundred percent. But what would you be more interested in? Um, I would love to watch his creative process. So I would probably, I'd probably say a writing session or like a recording session or something like that. Cause I would just love to see his, his, his brain work while he produces, while he raps, while he writes, just while he does what he does. I think it would be really cool. That's why, you know, I, that I've talked to you about that, um, that series on Disney plus get back. Mm -hmm. That's why I love that. That series for me was like, so your J. Cole is the Beatles for me. Right. Well, so tell them what Get Back is. Get Back is a, it's a three part series on Disney Plus. It's the last live concert that the Beatles ever played together. And it's the writing session leading up to it and songs that went on albums and all this. But awesome. watching like McCartney bring in Let It Be. And play it out loud to them for the first time was like, what the fuck? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, all right, so we haven't gotten into anything we wanted to talk about. No, it's been about 20 minutes and we've just been rambling. Welcome to Hey Man. This is what happens when both of us are simultaneously high. By the way, we weren't rambling. I think I was laser focused on my clean fantasy. Day. We do need to think of another. <laughs> we think it, need to think of before we let them pick Team Josh or Team Jacob. We need to if you're, give mine a name for like what it is. If it's not a fantasy, a daydream. That's not better than a fantasy. Yeah, it is because your thought, your your argument is that a fantasy is something that you've thought about multiple times. A daydream is something that you just think about right on the spot and think about. So maybe not dream is yeah, the but, wrong word because it also makes it sound like also <sighs> fantasy. But like daydream doesn't make it sound like I know what it was. It's a bit. It's a bit for the pod. Everything's like, if I'm like, hey, what would your day be? Or if we do a make-believe, this is what I, it's just a bit for the pod. I, I will never think about it again. But if I do, I'll call and tell you. 
because and I then I will change my go. vote. But right now, it's just a bit. So, guys, is it a fantasy? Team Jacob. Or is it a bit? Team Wright. I, I'm going to text you about it tomorrow. Team Josh. You can talk to me about it. That doesn't count. I, I, doesn't every count. day I'm just going to text you. Have you, if about, I, have, you thought about, have you thought about Clooney with I promise you right now, if I ever... If I ever am like sitting in the house, like you know what, I don't think I play basketball. I'll, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> or you think of like a cool nickname he might have given yeah. you? Yeah. Oh. Now see, now you gotta think about it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you again. Can I just tell you what came to the top of my head? <laughs> yeah. What's here? You're never gonna believe it, Scooter. Why? I don't know. Why is Scooter? What's up, Scooter? Hey, George. I don't know why. <laughs> Did you sound like his... <laughs> What's going on, Scooter? I, I'd, I'd be sound like, like a... you wear a helmet. No, I'd be like on a in a golf cart driving around his property. I'd like he'd be like he'd go, hey, Scooter. I go, hey, George. If you're driving a golf cart, why is your name Scooter? I don't know. Hey, GC. I'll call you Caddy. GC. I'll call you Caddy. Buddy, I'm just telling you that's not Caddy's, not the Scooter. Is what he calls me. <laughs> so definitive. <about> <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me what you wanted to talk about today. Um, all right. So for Christmas, my girlfriend got me and her obviously Jack Harlow tickets. Uh, so for those of you who don't know who Jack Harlow is, Jack Harlow is an artist. He's out of Kentucky, uh, in Louisville, uh, and he's super talented. What he's, type of music? He's a hip hop rap artist. He's this new emerging white kid. He's got curly hair, but he's just got, he's got all the swag. He's super dope. His music's super good. Uh, he writes all his own stuff. Um, so at the show, quick note, overall, good performance. Thought it was fun. Uh, super chill set. Uh, like his, like his actual stage uh, production was pretty chill, but he moved around a lot. He got into it. There was a four-year-old in the front of the crowd that he talked to, which was really cool. A like four-year-old on the barricade, which was kind of fun. Um, it was like a really like chill hip hop rap set, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, but however, we got in there and my girlfriend and I are standing behind the pit. Yes. First concert since, since Astro, Astro World. World. Yes. That's why we were not up in the pit with everybody. Right. Uh, security guard came up and goes, how many people with you? I go two. And they go, she goes, do you want to be up there on the pit? And I was like, no, thank you. We're, we're good back here by the bar. Mm -hmm. And we just chilled out back. Um, it was at the Novo in LA, yeah. across from the Staples Center. Yeah. That's a cool club. Yeah. That's definitely, like, definitely. like there's a balcony too, which I thought was really cool. It has seats up there. Um, nice bar too. Like a really, really cool looking bar. Um, anywho, um, but yeah, first concert since Astro World, we were not going anywhere near the pit. We were decently away from everybody. However, we always ended up like somehow for me, like at concerts, I always have weird people next to me. Like there's just a, a bunch. That's of, awesome. Uh, I mean, weird's always good, but like sometimes it's just like they had a little too much to drink and they're just like, they're moving too close to you or like they'll bump into you when everyone else to them next to them is just like standing and just watching. Right. And so they're, the, they're that one group, which they're having a good time, which I love, but they dropped like six or seven drinks. They almost elbowed my girlfriend in the face a couple of times and I had to like push a couple off for her because they just weren't like spatially aware. Mm -hmm. So that was semi frustrating. Um, but in that, or, before that group showed up, there was another group of kids there. I'm going to say kids because they all look like they were 21, 22, probably a little, a little younger than me. And I'm still a kid, so there's that. Did you hear that? Yeah, is that your stomach? That was my stomach. I don't. I hope we got that on audio. We'll check that out. Yo, dude, I thought that was something out, out, nah. outside. I thought like a plane flew by. Nah, that's my stomach. What up, G? You all right? What up, G? No, yeah, that was just I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, that was just a, that was just a hunger tummy growl. Wow. Anywho... Um, there was a group of people next to us and, you know, the one was dancing on her friend and, and, you know, everyone's having a good time. And then I'm kind of looking over and I'm like, I, I think the girl, I think one of those, I think that's a mother and a daughter. And I was kind of confused because they looked pretty similar and then, but they were dressed semi the same. Like it may have just been a coincidence right. that also her friend who was 22 in her age looked like a 40 year old mom. Which, by the way, in your group is never the best thing to be. So, like, for, for anybody, whether you were a guy or a girl. Right. That, that there, I was like, I don't know which one's better. Yeah. You know, being the mom or being the friend that yeah. looks. Yeah, 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 Um, And so, they're, like, dancing and, like, like getting, like. Is it possible that it was an older woman who just looked really young? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Because she walked in with the group and they were all. 
They were all kids. Okay. Or they were like maybe no older, like maybe than me, maybe like 26, 27, okay. but like nowhere near 30. Okay. And so I was just like, I was a little confused. And then one of the guys that they were with who was still in that age group, I'm going to just call her a mom because that's what I think she was. I think the mom started making out with one of her friends and she was cool with it. One of her young, one of her... Yeah, one of her daughter's friends. Right, 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 right. right. I don't know. I, I was just like, I was kind of taken back. And I was like, yo, if you guys have that kind of relationship, cool. Like, yo, oh, man, do whatever works for you and yeah. yeah, have some fun. Like, I'm cool with it. But like, I ain't never seen anything like that. But me neither. A follow up for you is like, what's like one of the weirdest things you've seen at, or like, like at a tight venue or like a concert or like what's something you've seen in the crowd? I've never seen anything like that. Or like what's something weird that you've seen in the crowd before? Well, you remember I went to that um, old cella. Oh, yeah. Concert in the Desert. Yeah. Was that what it was called? It was called Concert in the Desert, but old cella was way funnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just called it old cella. They were oh. like, what? And I was like, Concert in the Desert. And they're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, it's old cella. It's, yeah, old cella. It was McCartney, the Stones, the Who. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking worst. Yeah. Heard that Yo, ugh. Not a good set. And I know Bob Dylan, Revered, yeah, and he deserves every accolade he has gotten. But right now, right now, when you see him, he deserves two of those. Yo, maybe it's time. Look, then there's no shame and there may be time to stop touring, but like. That was a check, though. The show that he puts on now is rough sauce and people are like dude fucking he's 95 exactly then let people know who haven't been to the show yeah there's no need don't 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 this is going to be a really terrible yeah. performance Fair. you're not gonna you're not he doesn't play any of his hits he plays new songs and he and the hits that he does play he's rearranged so much that you can't understand. Right. It, it, it was excruciating. Yeah. Uh, Anywho. Right. Sorry about that. And then so I was there and Bob Dylan drove me to drugs. So <laughs> I took some mushrooms uh, and then ended up uh, sticking my finger in some dude's belly button. Yeah, that, yeah that's weird. You want to go a little more depth in that? Because, again, that just sounds... Out of context, that's just weird. Uh, like, was it the shrooms that made you do it? Did he convince you? Like He asked me. And you he, said yes. He, I believe the question he asked me is, how many knuckles deep do you think you can go on my belly button? And you replied? By the way, this is on my... This story is on my... Oh, oh got it. YouTube channel. Got it, got it, got it. I think it's called Tripping at a Music Festival. But, like, yeah, I ended up... Gross. Getting in there pretty good. Yo, let me tell you something right now. That smell. Yeah, yeah. I was. Why did you say I? I wiped it on somebody's lip. No, so one of the people that we came with. I'm not gonna say who because he might see this. But and I don't want him to think that I fucking threw his name out there. But you know who you are. Yeah, it, that stuck with him. He said for the rest of the day, no matter how many times he washed his face. Yeah, no, I don't can think I that's you, what goes away. Can I tell you that that, you know how much I like it when you sing the end of sentences sometimes? I see. Sometimes I just sing the things I'm doing or just sing my sentences. That was too long. That ended up being longer than I thought it was. Oh, no, sometimes I double that. Do you? Sometimes I just like, I don't stop and I just sing. I just constantly, I just constantly sing things. A well-placed sing song at the end of a sentence is fucking Mwah. super funny. It's, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of those. It really adds a little... Now, I have something I do want to talk to you about. Okay. Now, last week, I tried to convince you to get an OnlyFans for your feet. Yes. Uh, the Unfortunately, for you, those of you watching, you never heard it because I fucked up the video. So that episode is only on audio. You may get used to, or may not get used to, but you'll hear me talk about fucking up technology a lot. Yeah, I'm generally, I'm generally okay. You're pretty good, man. I'm technologically te challenged. That's the nicest way to say it. Yep. So, 
we had talked about me, we had talked about you getting an OnlyFans for your feet. Now, I was trying to, to convince you to get the OnlyFans for your feet, and you were not that pumped about it. Nope. So, now, I, let me just go over why I think it's a good idea. Okay. We can make it really funny. Okay. One. Two. You never have to show your face. You do have to advertise that it's you, but you never have to show your face. Right. Okay. Three. Money, 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 money. Well, here's the money. I think people money, are going money, to money. think it's one thing and then after a month realize it's not and just be like, all right. Listen, dude. You can do both. The thing that they want and the thing that you want at the same time. Nope. Now, you have... I'll tell you why. You have, by the way, Jacob has one... For his and he has long toes. What did I used to call your toes? You remember? What do you used to call them? You still call them. One of the feet is okay. The other feet is not. Yeah, but one of the, but his his toes are so long. We called them tingers because they were like feet on. Like, fingers on my toes. Yeah, he has fingers on his. Or his fingers toes. on my feet. And so, but one of his feet were he almost lost three of his toes. Those three toes are a little deformed. They out there. So I thought like he could do fetish stuff with that with that foot. Nope. And and then your normal pigs. Now that right. that's my first. Let's get right there. No, I want it. That's my first pitch. Fetish normal, but make we'll make them funny. And this is how we'll make them funny. I'm gonna run a couple of names by you, okay? Because here's what we would do: we would dress up your toes. Right. No, no, I I, I get the concept. We dress up your toes. Right, yeah. and so we'd make him funny, but also what the give the people what they want. Okay. You know? All right. Okay. So these are gonna be like foot and toe puns for names. Okay. Okay, that's uh, number one. We would take a picture, and we would call it Shaquille O'Heel. Of just my my heel, yeah, it's Shaquille O'Heel. Okay, heel Brennan. Yeah, heel Brennan's kind of funny. Okay, <laughs> okay, Kevin Heelan. Kevin Heelan, very good. <laughs> okay, um, toe from Progressive. You know, not flow from Progressive, but toe from Progressive. Yeah, could you sp could you put like a foot spin on Progressive? Progressive. <laughs> All right, well, well toe, done. Toe, toe, <laughs> toe, toe, toe play. Toe from progressive. Toe mm -hmm. from progressive. That still wasn't what I asked for. You just screamed it. Oh yeah. Three yeah. more times. Okay. 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 What? Okay. Okay. The so hell? you you want to play a foot play on progressive? Yeah. Well, I don't think I got one. Toe with. Oh, I mean, it's not. I keep going to orthopedic. But that does, doesn't sound like progressive. It has more syllables, and it's not close to it. Yeah, okay. Toe from progressive. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Toe draft. Um, so this for the for your big toe. Yep. We would call your big toe fat toe, and like we would fat. dress him up like Fat Joe. That's funny. What about what about uh what about toe green like the big 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 like the green machine the Steelers the Steelers oh. lineman. Oh, uh, Mean Toe Green? Mean Toe Green. Mean Toe Green would be a good name for my... Mean Turf Toe Green. No, just Mean Toe Green. Because you have Turf Toe. Yeah, but he, he doesn't need to be have Turf Toe to, have a mean, to be mean. You just have Mean Toe. He's got a name. He's Mean Toe Green. It's kind of funny. I love Mean Toe Green. Um, toe Pesci? It's kind of funny. Toe DiMaggio? Well, toe DiMaggio? Toe, toe Pesci would be like, what am I... What do I amuse you? What am I? What am I? A clown? Like a clown? Did you see Goodfellas? That was the worst Joe Pesci impersonation ever. Made. Yeah. Uh, okay. How about um, Toe Rider? I don't know, like Flow Rider. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Um, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could also have your. We could paint your toe like a Toe Rider. 
So let's have a low rider. We could make your toe like a, a like a low rider. All right. All right. This one is for people of my generation. Your little toe would be called Pinky Tuscadero. Don't understand that. Yeah, you don't. That's from Happy Days, which is a TV show you I know of Happy Days. You do? I know of it. Yeah, yeah, I know what Happy Days is. Do you know any of the characters off of Happy Days? The Fonz? No, oh, I know the Fonz. Hey. 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 He did this. He did, no, he did this. this. He did this. Yeah, yeah. Which now seems so. If someone was like, "Hey, that's <laughs> <laughs> me." Weird. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. And so, because this one, maybe if he like, if he did the finger guns, hey. if it, even if he just pointed, but like, this is it. But like, he would go, "Hey, hey. yeah, that, this <laughs> is weird." It's like, "Hey," I don't think it's weird, but I do think it's. It's not weird, it's but like not it, 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 quite it, it, as cool. You would have a much harder time making the fonts go. Hey, this a, hey. but we were like, hey, you know what I mean? And Pinky Tuscadero was this character who flew into town every now and then. She had a cousin or a sister named Leather Tuscadero who dressed in leather, and Pinky did not. Guess how Pinky dressed? Oh, that's right. And so, actually, I don't remember how Pinky dressed. I'm assuming in pink leather. Okay. So Anyways, so but Pinky Descadero, what I remember and I about her and leather, and they were played by the same person, is <laughs> that she kind of looked like if I think if I like Joan Jett, but I could my I could be. Do you remember what happened one time on spring break, dude? So on spring break for what? My spring break. Joan Jett was playing on the beach. Why would I remember what happened on your spring break? No, I I didn't say do you remember. I said do you know? Like I'm about to tell you the story. Why would I know what happened on your spring break? I know you don't know. I'm saying, but that when I say do you know? Oh, what it was happened? rhetorical. Yeah. Okay. I was confused. I was like, what? Which what? And why yeah. would I know that? You wouldn't know. Um. Uh, one night, one year, Joan Jett was playing on the beach, and um, there was a big, big something about Joan Jett I, I didn't know at the time, which was the fact that, well, it's the fact that she's a lesbian, right? Right. But I, I didn't know that. And I had always thought she was just incredibly sexy. So, yo, if I, I'm, I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you that I did a bunch of push-ups. You know, I was I was in pretty good shape back then. Oh yeah, you did a bunch of push-ups before the show so that your muscles would be a little more. Bunch of push-ups, bunch of curls, bunch of sit-ups. Every now and then I'd walk around the other side, fucking bang some up, throw some back. I, I was rocking baby oil at the time, dude. Bummer. Baby oil, oh. And I, when I was telling, if I tell you I was throwing it up from the crowd, I thought I was throwing it on hard. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't notice it. No, not a single bit. No. no, but in my mind, just like in my mind, in my mind, when I lived in Seattle, I thought that I was gonna meet. Um, Bill Gates. No. Uh, what the fuck, Tori Spelling at a movie? I don't know why I had a recurring daydream. And it wasn't a fantasy because I don't fantasize about Tori Spelling or a, recur a recurring thought or I would just that I would meet her at a movie theater in L.A. and hook up with her. That never. I met her at a movie theater in L.A. Did you actually? Yeah. But do you know what? Okay. Dude, this is how I don't I'm not really good. At, and I never was really good at talking, going up and just talking to women. So I had, I was with the brothers and cousins. Mm -hmm. We were at the Beverly Connection or Beverly something down there. And Tori Spelling comes in. We were, and I had told one or two of them the story, right? And they were like, dude. I go, what? They go, you're never going to believe this. And I turn around, fucking Tori Spelling, movie theater. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, and they were like, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go talk to her. Like, this is crazy. Now, I 
am not good and never was good at just walking up. Are you good? Were you good at that? No. No. I also, it just wasn't my thing. Like, that. I never, like, really instigated. I always just kind of did my own thing and just, like, if it happened, it happened. But yeah. I never, like, ever went out of my way. You were, you were, were... I was very reserved when I went out. I'm still, I, I'm just a reserved person when I go out. And you preferred it to me to happen organically. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I was like that too. More fun that way. Yeah, I was like that too. Um, but so that's why I, w I was like, I don't want to walk up to her. Right? Yeah. She may accidentally bump into her. I... In you my brain, a drink on in my brain, maybe it happened more organically. I never saw it super clearly how it happened, right? But they were like, "Go, go, go!" And I was like, "Maybe this is maybe maybe part of me. me the hooking up is me getting over." Blah, 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 blah. Right. So uh, she's with two friends, and I'm sure at the time she knew who Scott was, and Scott was there. Right. I, I forget if they talked. So I don't mean to bore you. I'll, no, I'm, sorry. Just I'll move past this. I only have like five hours of sleep. So on my way over, I am just working up what I'm going to say. Right. And I, I decide right away, I had a vision that I would meet you here. It was not a good one. Vision. Uh, it feels real creepy. Yeah. And real stalkery. Like, if somebody walked up to me and was like, I had a vision, you'd be here. I'd be like, okay, time yeah. to call the police, time right? Yeah. So then I, I'm i like, oh, shit, what am I going to say as I'm walking up? I'm sure she has people approach her all the time. She's yeah. with two of her friends. So you, in, in my limited experience to walking up to people, you kind of have to hit three for three with whatever you say. Because if one person in the group isn't digging you in my experience and again limited it uh, it generally is a Deal especially in that smaller group yeah. it's a big group doesn't matter yeah so i open with this it's not what i wanted to say I'm scared but this is what came, <sighs> this is what came out of my mouth i'm gonna say go ahead I see that more in front. Sorry, y'all. This is what came out of my mouth. I've I've seen you on TV. Oh my god. She was like, oh. You just froze. Ah, oh, I fucking froze. Choked. I froze because I saw one of her friends see me walking up and mm. Mansion. Oh, and say fuck, something fucking, to fucking here comes this fucking dude. Yeah. And yeah. that, yo, I can only say for again for me, that is what has always stopped me. Call me a pussy, whatever you want. It's the fear of getting noticed on the walk over. And somebody, you know, like scout team sends up a a flare, flare. to the group. Yep. And you're like, damn it. See what it's I mean? Over. Oh, the worst is when you get seen walking up, somebody leans in and whispers something to everybody, but everybody still turns all looking at you. and laughs. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my. Um, yeah. That is not good. Let me just finish up on, I'm sorry, on the OnlyFans. If we dress up that one foot with the... One of them can be a Slender Man toe because he doesn't have a toenail. So he's That's like, the other toe. The other toe is we just uh -huh. go... We go straight fetish. You know what I mean? Nope. You just—I don't just don't think you're gonna pitch me on this. But what about the money? I don't think there's any money to be made in this category. The foot category? No, in the foot category, there's a lot of money to be made, but not in this specific okay. branch. Okay. 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 Category. Okay. Say you did one straight foot and one. Funny foot picture a week. What would be your opposition to just putting a, a foot? And, and I'm asking honestly. I feel like dressing up my toes is weird. No, no, no. Forget the dress up. Just a picture of your foot. What would be the opposition to it? I don't know. 
Do you think it's weird that your dad is trying to talk you into having an OnlyFans for your feet? I said it before and I'll say it again. Yes. Do you? I'm really just trying to look out for you. People are making easy money out there, man. You know, work smarter, not harder. Just a couple pictures of your feet. Eight. What if eight pictures got you five thousand dollars a month? It would, because there's like, you're saying if, like if, 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 if five, what, what, sure. Is 5,000 the number? 5,000 is more than the number. I'd be cool with a, I'd be cool with a thousand. So you only need 200 people? Oh, dude, there are 200 feet people. A hundred percent. Here's the deal. There's 200 feet people without a doubt, especially if they know it's your feet. Without a doubt, there's 200 feet people. On top of that, there's a couple of weird fucks like me that will see how you dress up your feet every week. Oh, you could get a really cool stylist to come over and paint faces on your nails. You know what I'm saying? Nope. What do you mean, nope? Nope. I could just paint the faces. All I gotta do is just a fit. Like a, oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right. Listen, I don't mean to. I don't want to insult your art skills. Oh, there's no art skills. You know that. I'm just saying that that we can have a real stylist come over and put some cool clothes on your feet you know maybe barbie it up a little you don't have to barbie it up but you can make some small clothes small clothes your feet maybe make a whole family like like the brady bunch well that's you only get five unless you want to put you dress up the other ones um look at that oh no shit um so that phone call yes you know I, look Guys, I I think it can't do any damage to you. There are people making m millions of dollars doing, showing way more, right? Yeah. And they're doing fine. It's not like, so this is what I would say. If it was, I don't mean to bore you. Oh, that was this, 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 this pitch actually was. This, all I'm saying is this could be easy money for the rest of your life. And just change how old the people are that you dress your feet up as, as you get older. You could make one of your foot a, a birthday cake every year. You know, every, every you've got some built-in um, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, President's Day. Yeah, come on. The possibilities are endless. So that's it. Now, what would you say is the smart charge? Five bucks? Probably. Okay, and is there a VIP section? Like I a mean, private, like a private Zoom or anything like that? No, no Zooms. Where you do voices with your? Not you do chance. voices. I'll send you the video of my feet, and you can do the voices. Oh, okay. No. Wait, so... Why did I offer that? I knew you'd say yes to that. Yeah, what are you talking about? So, $5, 200 people, 1000 bucks. Actually, I probably need like 250 because OnlyFans takes 20%. 250 250 people because OnlyFans takes 20% 20% of the money you make. Oh, 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 oh. So you would need more than that. Okay. So, whatever that money ends up being, I... I think it's a, or you could just charge six dollars. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Okay, I, if I look, T go ahead. Team right, Team J. I think you're gonna be wrong on both of these. I don't think so. I think so. Do you really? Yep. Which ones do you think? Which one do you think I'll be wrong or on? This one. I think there would be some business-minded people out there. Look, I'm all about a bag. Not like that. Yeah, I mean, look. Because I also just don't think logistically it would do well. But if you were guaranteed a thousand... By the way, I think you're undershooting. I think That's what I'm saying. Like, a thousand a month extra would be fine. Yeah, no, no, no. But we gotta, we got to set our sights higher than that shit. We just have to. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yep. hold on. Something oh. important. Yeah. You good? Anywho. Okay.
You good? Good. All right. Um, okay. So, hear us out. Let us know. Hear him out. He's the one pinching it. I, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Be, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. But is there any way, like, if it's overwhelmingly yes, would you do it? Sure. But then is the overwhelmingly yes actually going to turn into, like, look, 500 people might say it's funny. 50 of them might actually do it. How do we set up an OnlyFans that only activates after 200 people have bought subscriptions? And if 200 people don't in a week, people get their money back or something like that. Can you do that? We can just have it an account for the first month that has nothing on it. And then if it gets the 200 subscribers, we'll post on it. And if it doesn't, people can just do, I think, what is called a chargeback on a credit yeah. card. And then they'll just get their But money the, the people who were there for the first month don't get anything. And they still have to pay money. No, that's what I'm saying. If you call it, if you, if we, you know, as long as you get a chargeback before, I think you're good. But, but I mean, is that like, if we keep going and you do get the 1,000. Oh, then those people will... I don't know. Sure, get something. We get, we'd have to get them their money back somehow. I'll just Venmo all of their money. Yeah, that's the way to do it. All right. Well, this is not gonna happen. What else you want to talk to me about? Um, well, you talked about old cello, so let's talk about Coachella. Oh, uh, boy! Lineup dropped. No rage. I saw. Pissed. What happened? Wasn't rage supposed to be there? Rage was supposed to go and was confirmed, and then an article came out like last week and it said that rage was off the list didn't say why it just said rage was off the bill it is a fucking big bummer yep and now instead of okay so in 2020 what it was supposed to be it was supposed to be rage against the machine frank ocean travis scott obviously in hindsight now travis scott not being that's probably a good thing he offered but he offered to play for free but coachella and golden voice said smart um very smart um and so now instead of those three Frank Ocean's confirmed for 2023, but he said he didn't want to do 2022. The headliners are Harry Styles on Friday. By the way. Oh, I, I'm in for it. Fan. Oh, he's got good music. Fan. Billie Eilish on Saturday. Fan. Yeah. And Kanye on Sunday. Depends on what he's playing. Oh, uh, he'll play all of his new stuff, probably. Not a fan. Yeah, so he'll hit you with a couple hits. Yeah, but for me, like it's very hip hop pop based, which I like. I'm just not excited for the crowd that's gonna be there. The Harry Styles, Billy Eilish crowd. Oh, what's wrong with the Harry Styles crowd? It's and the Harry Styles and Billy Eilish crowd is all 16 year old white girls. Oh, uh, and it's just gonna be. Well, listen. Wow. Some people are gonna be really happy about that. And you know what? Super, I'm happy for you guys. And I'm excited to see Harry perform. I actually really like his music. I think yeah. he's really talented. So I will sit back from afar because um, I'm probably not going to be in too many crowds to Coachella also because I just don't want to. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask. Are you st how were, you didn't really like the crowd? You don't, you're trying to stay out of the crowd. Just, you know, ease my way back into it. There yeah. are certain crowds that I want to be in when we go to Coachella because I also know, like, I've never experienced anything like Astroworld. I know Coachella's not like that. Yeah. And it's like, I just know it's not. Are Everybody you camping? Looks out, yeah. Well, yeah, we got a camping, 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 camping spot already. We yeah. have tickets already. Uh, people look out for each other there, is what you're going to say. Yeah. It's it's a different type of community, for sure. So, because um, it's people from all walks of life. Bummed about Rage, dude. I was going to go I'm see Rage. So mad about Rage. I'm going to have to see. My only chance to see them live. I don't know. Well, when, when they come back. I don't know if they're coming back. I think that's why maybe they're off the bill. So they just decided that it took too long. They don't want to do it. Which would suck. They would do that would be a bummer. Yeah, kind of mad about that. Uh, there's a couple in there, like, I'm going to think be more, like, there's a couple of hip-hop artists there. There's a, a guy named Corday, which I really like. His album drops tomorrow. New album. Super excited. Uh, 21 Savage, who's my girlfriend's favorite. Uh, Yvonne loves him. He's all, he's great, though. We saw him at the J. Cole concert in October as yeah. well. Um, and then a couple, like, not EDM artists, but, like, uh, I wouldn't say alternative either. I'll call it electronic. I'll call it electronic. Okay. A band called Flume, which I really, really like. They have some really, really good music. And uh, Disclosure as well, I think it's going to be really cool. Um, and then, you know, the best thing about Coachella is you just walk in and you just, whatever sounds good, you just walk towards. Yeah, that sounds good. It's nice. like, 
There's like nine tents. There's like nine sets going on at once. If you don't like what's on at the big stages, you walk to the smaller stages. And if you like something new, you find something new. You know, it's the thing I love about it the most. That's and it's also awesome. gigantic. You can go walk around and take pictures. There's food. There's, there's like interactive stuff on the campgrounds. Like there's always a dodgeball tournament every year. Like there's a silent disco that goes into like until the sunrise. Like it's fucking what. What's a silent disco? You ever see? You ever been to a silent disco? No, oh, wait, you're into a silent. Disco. So silent disco is you pretty much go into a club and it's everything like that and it's everything going on. It's just like a club atmosphere. Everybody has headphones on. Dance into the same music. Yep. You bring your own headphones. No, they supply you with headphones when you come in. Obviously, they're sanitized, but you come with headphones. They give you headphones when you walk in, and so all you hear is the music. But if you is were, it over the ear headphones? Over the ear headphones. So if you had a phone out to film it you would hear just people like laughing and giggling and just like people stomping around, but no actual music. Uh, what a great place to be high. Yeah. 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 Holy moly. But also with all this cool stuff and cool music that's going to be there, like flume, especially I'm doing mushrooms in the desert. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. This is my first time ever doing it. Like at like a concert Yeah. or a venue second time in public ever, honestly. So I'm just going to fucking go for it. Well, I'm not gonna, dude, not gonna hero journey, but I'm gonna. No, that's not the way to. Do. Nope, probably, probably like split it throughout the day. I definitely don't need to hero journey with all those people. No, <sighs> that's a two, three person thing at max. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah no, I can agree. I, 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 but I will tell you, the last couple times I've taken mushrooms, you know what I've really enjoyed doing? Mm. Getting in bed, turning out all the lights, and just closing my eyes. And this is going to sound real whatever. And then we got to run. Excuse me. I always wake up with a strong feeling that I learned something. So, and I can, and I do, when I say strong feeling, like I wake up having learned something or with like a strong feeling that I need to look into this or do something. Interesting. And it always. Is right. Yeah. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 it's really weird. Like I've just been doing my own little. It's a meditation for you almost. Yeah, now, by the way. Well, it's like a deeper it, form of it. It's almost like I go inside in, your brain. I go in, I don't know if you call it a sleep, maybe, but I go in and then something happens, something happens, and I don't know how long I'm in, and then I'm out. And it's almost like an epiphany. Well, but I have different little runs at different things. It's just one thing. Well, that's what I'm saying though. It's like you try, you try, you try, but then you find something that. Yeah, that's what it is. It's so bananas. It, it's, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, the last two times have been like that. I think I'm I'm really excited to be to go back to Coachella again, man. It's been too long. It's been how many have you been to? I've been to three. This will be my fourth, but it's been three years since the last Coachella, which I was at. I've been to 2015, 2017, 2019. Oh yeah, the odd years. <laughs> yeah, I'm going first even year this year. So let's go. Let's get it. Um, listen, everybody. I forgot to mention this top at the top. If you're listening, if you could. Go to that iTunes thing and rate and like and subscribe and leave, and leave a, a comment, comment and all that stuff. All that stuff. That would be so dope. People ask all the time what they can do to help. That's it right there. Also, same thing on YouTube. Yeah. The comments. And I've been trying to get back. I've been trying. I hop over on here a bunch and try to comment as much as I can. Yeah. And, uh, but we, guys, the. Response has been overwhelming, yeah, so we really, really appreciate awesome. it, man. Thank you guys a lot. And also, another way to help, hey, word of mouth. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your loved ones. We're uh, we're all for it. Anybody is welcome. Yeah, that's true. Um, not your loved ones, though. Um, I don't know what that means. And then uh, you're going to be with me in Columbus. Yes. Um, at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. But he's going to be coming with me a bunch more. Uh, now that, especially now that we're in Vegas, you're going to see the two of us together a, a bit more. Yeah. And, uh, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. I'll start putting on there which ones you're going to be at. You should also just start putting more, like, do you have, do you have a list of, like, the rest of the year? Comedianjoshwolf.com, yeah. Mm, okay, because sometimes I go up there and there's just, it just stops at, like, a certain point. Yeah, I, I, it should be up there through March right now. Perfect. I'm going to start putting your face on the posters of the ones you're coming to. Cool. Don't you think so? That sounds fun. They could use our, they could use our, like one of our podcast covers or something. Yeah, but I just want it to be like the picture of you. Oh, okay. Cool. Like just me at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
cool. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you guys, everybody, for coming by. And, you know, the same thing as always. We appreciate you guys and the support. It's been really awesome. Hey, man. Hey, man. See you guys. Later. Thank you for the phone call. It doesn't matter if he's not ringing on the wall. Don't be where we gotta go. Now who's the man is in the promise?